word up. So here's my man Ziggs. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch this the other night. So uh, here we go. Uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what comes to be here. It's been a lot of uh, interesting energies lately. I don't know about y'all, but uh, it's 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 uh it's been hmm, too much for me to really put into words because I'm still like integrating and processing. I mean, I know what the fuck's going on, but like I can't put it into words so that people. Uh, hmm. <laughs> For the most part, uh, pe people w would just see uh, a projection and they wouldn't be able to integrate anything that I say or be able to relate or anything of this nature. So, uh, so yeah, I will save that as in... I will integrate that. It's a fucking lot to integrate too. Um, it's too much. Like I don't wish this shit on anyone, dude. Uh, the the times that we are in. The emitting that's that's happening it, it's not um, it's not it's not in a frequency that is beneficial and uh, especially with the level of manipulation and if you are privy to, to uh, even the slightest little bit of the tip of the iceberg if you are aware of what's underneath the waters Aware that there is even a fucking water. Aware that you are observing a tipping point. State, state of mind, it depends on where you're at. Uh, the state that I am in. The things that I have allowed inside of myself. So I'm always um, reflecting within to the things that are happening uh, without and integrating and harmonizing and transmuting as much as I can. But uh, to, there's there's uh, in a lot of places it's just it's just too much. So, uh, you, you gotta do what you gotta do to, uh, I don't want to say survive, uh, necessarily thrive, yes, but, I don't know, dude, <laughs> you, you gotta listen to, uh, the, the calling, where you're being pulled to. Within and without. And it starts from within. Realize your limits so that you can move beyond them. And this has been uh, the main message for me for, for quite a while. So yeah, uh, so <laughs> beyond that little fucking thing, uh, this I watched just the very tippy point of this, and uh, he started getting into some words and you know some uh, frequencies and resonances and uh, <laughs> and stuff, and 
And so my mind, you know, continued on with that. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's see where we flow. All right. But then it can also be used against you. This is why they say when, when you get arrested, the police officer has to read you your rights. Because everybody has the right to remain silent. But what's the first thing people do? They want to play the victim role and defend themselves. But... I know, I know this is something that you like to say, dude. Like, everyone has the right to remain silent. But, like, dude, uh, we, we don't got no fucking rights. Like, you can remain silent and they, they, right? The, 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 the fucking mysterious they, uh, whoever the fuck you want they to be. Will will do whatever the fuck they want to do to you. You don't have no fucking rights here, unless you start to understand your power. And hopefully, this is what <laughs> this is what we're gonna get into. Because once once you start to really dive deep inside of you, uh, you take back your linguistics and your syntax and your mentality you take back the reality of that of which you are that of which what reality is the, the multi-layered aspects of reality the many layers that are being played around you and upon you because most people are pawns. But like he's going to say, most people uh, can't help but projecting. And they, they just, those kinds of people, which is most people, uh, just, and this is the spells and the spelling. Like they fuck themselves because they can't, um, have any kind of an inner standing or inner awareness of what the fuck they're doing and, and this is this is the uh, This is the mastermind of what has been done upon the people Teach them a language that they don't understand they don't understand and They will do upon themselves What Originally has been done upon them as in tricking them, manipulating them with this fucked language. They will do that upon themselves. And yes, you, you know, the angles and the angels and the linguistics of the language. Once you really dive deep into the etymology of it. You can take back your power, but you're still limited. This language is limited. It, it will give you insights into uh, the origins, but it will not lead you to there. You have to let go of fucking language in order to get back to the origins. And they start fucking chit-chattering, and then they end up incriminating Right? Because certain words, you see, look at how, see, this bastard language, you see, Thank it, you. it basically means whatever you want it to mean, but it can still be used against you when you don't know your power. Oh, yes, okay? it will and be. And when you don't know how to use the words. Thanks, dude. Now, you have the right to remain silent. Right has many sure. meanings. Right? Yeah. Turn your right, meaning that you're correct. Okay? Nice. You can say nice. right. Right, same frequency vibration, uh, but the word light, okay, means we light might bulb, light flight, color, light weight. You know what I mean? It's got a, a bunch of different meanings. Like right, only changing one letter, but it's in the same frequency. Fight, right, light, sight, bite. <laughs> All right, so. That's why, to me, 
I'll try to be sorry for the language as however I see it fit. But everything stems from Germanic, Latin. Ooh, there we so go. I'll try to break it down. Go. Just because I know Spanish, there we go. there's certain words that don't translate ex to the exact meaning of what it would mean in another, in another language. Like, understand. <laughs> Thank you again uh, for, for fucking saying that shit. <clears throat> Etymologize your life, people. Realize the roots of your linguistics. Realize uh, the twisted roots. Dive deep into other lands, other states of beingness and their linguistics, their history of linguistics and how even with one within one little uh like landmass or, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, one little countryside, you uh you have dialects that one thing will mean the opposite in, in another part and it's not very far apart. It's like how the fuck did this happen? Why did this happen? And I'm not going to give you answers. I, I ask these questions to stimulate you so that you may answer sh the shit for yourself. I only want you to answer shit for yourself. I, I don't want to give anyone answers. And if and if I do, you know, uh, point the, the way towards a, a certain, you know, uh, ending point or conclusion that's that's not a conclusion it, it's a it's a it's my perspective it's a perspective that that you have the option to see through your own lenses and perspectives you everyone you guys find your own answers You choose what to engage and entertain and entrain with. To help you see again, to help you feel again. And that will lead you back to the origin. Understanding in Spanish is en tender. En means in. Yes. In track to go in. Enter. Even in English. Enter. Entender. Understand. Understand translated in Spanish will really mean understand when you say entender. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it it's like you try to you gotta try to decipher the whole thing. For yourself. So it's not just, and you got, yeah, you got to look at everything basically like it's foreign to you. Again, because you're not human. Okay? And basically what traps us is just even speaking can trap you alone. Thank because you. that's the human way of communicating. So you're trapping yourself just speaking. Ah, he said human way. Uh, it's the, it's the indoctrinated way because the human way of speaking is not opening your fucking mouth, looking someone in the eye, and having dream time. Uh, like like if you watch the Dark Crystal series or the movie, it's called dream fasting. Why the fuck is it called dream fasting? We fast, and what the fuck happens whenever we fast? We fucking our dreams become more vivid. Our dreams become more real. And they call this dream fasting. Whenever they share their dreams and share their memories. Do you not think that we can't do this? Do you not think that we can commune in this way? Dream fasting is our fucking language. The language of imagery. The origin points of creation. You don't need to fucking put labels upon that. It just is. You experience it. It just is. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so, 
in the best interest of spreading or sharing knowledge, I gotta use the language. Right? Exactly. But I'm gonna share my thoughts and my point of view. Yeah. All right? But one thing to understand is don't take everything so serious, man. This is like, and, uh, and this video, I don't want anybody to think it sounds like I'm talking to someone. I'm not. I'm just basically. Uh, I need to hear that, though. Like, right now, uh, like, like, with what, at the beginning of this, when I was talking about, like, I need to fucking hear that and feel that. But, uh, also, you know, with, with these fucking spells and spellings and fucking words, easier said than goddamn done. Especially whenever you are, are very tapped into the feeling and very tapped into uh, it's, it's just too much. I, I can't go into that right now. Uh, <laughs> it's been it's been a fucking lot lately. If you guys haven't noticed. And, and felt and I'm sure you have. Been a lot of fucking shit lately. It's been uh, it's been a lot to navigate through this fucking corruption and the degradation within people. Um, yeah, and I uh, messaged a friend uh, recently that it's like people are fucking zombies lately. Uh, not even lately, but I mean for the past several years. Uh, and just, it just exponentially increases, but like lately it's been, um, just absolutely madness on blast with, uh, the zombified reaction, reactions and actions of people and, um, the, the, uh, they have zero self-control over their emotions in the reactionary state. And uh, it's to the point lately where it's been like, is this, is this fucking real right now? Like, is this really happening? This is absolute insanity. And I'm, I'm talking from a point where I'm, I'm, I'm around a lot of people, I'm around, um, like, I'm in, uh, I'm driving through towns, uh, I'm, uh, having one-on-one -on -one interactions with people, uh, quite a few people, and it's, it's it's uh it's past the point of disturbing to the point of oof <laughs> it, it makes me wonder like who is actually a human anymore who is actually um feeling and realizing what the fuck they're doing anymore Here's an example I will share. Oh, I don't even know if I should do that. It's just, it's just, um, crazy. It's just fucking crazy. It's a mad world. The fact that people know that they are in a situation, in an engagement, in a relationship even, where it's abusive, it's it's not beneficial for themselves, for their fucking children, and yet they cannot bring themselves up out of it, even for their fucking kids. So I get this look from them like, yeah, I know why my kid is hugging you right now and telling you I want to go home with him. And that makes me just want to take the fucking child away and just be my own fucking child services.
that that rips at the fucking heart. Especially the 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 look in, in the mother's eyes. Uh, it's she doesn't have the willpower to to get herself and get the fucking child out of the situation. But everything happens for a reason. So I mean. I keep being presented with shit. Because I know that. I can fucking do something about it. And and I do. And I am. And uh, that may or may not happen on a physical level. But you. goddamn bet your ass. Shit's being flipped around. And turned inside out. On. The level that really gets shit done for lasting effects. And I'm not talking about just doing things in the moment and thinking, oh, I did something. Okay, it's good now. And then just, it's just, just going about your fucking life and forgetting about it. Like, okay, a pat on my back. I did something about it. And then, and then not even looking into it anymore after that. No. That's not what I'm about. I'm about lasting change. I'm about having people realize what they need to realize on a deep level. So that they see, they finally come to realize why they are repeating their cycles that they are repeating. And I know that's going to speak to a lot of you. And that speaks to me as well. And I just want to say that I don't exclude myself from any of this fucking stuff that I say. I'm going through the shit too. And I listen back to the things that I fucking say. And it, it helps me. So this is, a, uh, this is a healing process for me as well. Especially when I can connect with people that... That actually fucking feel and hear what I say. That, that's been the most immense fucking healing that I have experienced in this lifetime. Well, save for my uh, deep, intense meditation work. Which I will get into in another video. Of why, yeah... Uh, <laughs> there's, and like I said at the beginning, there's just there's just a fucking lot right now, dude, and I can't get into um, really hardly any any of it right now, or it it will just be a whole fucking dialogue of, of a whole bunch of shit that may or may not make sense to some people. I'm just talking, okay, but. If you're going to be human, because you you have to be human here, don't you want to take, you get the most of it? But how do you know that your human existence isn't dependent on you fulfilling a certain mission for your DNA, ancestry? See, because the thing is that, see, we're here living this experience, living the American dream. What is the American dream? <laughs> to make money, have a good job, go to school, get married. Is that the American dream? That's the dream indoctrinated and taught to us by our peers and parents and so-called friends. What about the uh, the world dream? What about the uh, the truth dream? What about that? What about the heart dream? What about the fucking love dream? What about the dream within a dream? What about waking up within that dream? You, you never hear people talking about that. Well, I mean, you you may here and there, you know. 
but we're taught about the American dream, the dream of material material wealth and the exoterics of your reality and ignoring the esoterics and the inner standings of what it means to transmute and alchemize your fucking reality to distill it and refine it no you're not talking about that you gotta do that fucking shit for yourself and maybe if you're lucky you will find shit like us like me and Ziggs and, and fucking all the people I connect with on YouTube. Then maybe you will be led to a reflection that is more clear. And then you have the option to start putting in the fucking work. And you hear us talking about it and shit, but it's not fucking easy. You you gotta fucking dedicate yourself. You gotta you gotta instill discipline within yourself to engage this fasting, engage this cleansing, engage this as within so without. Engage the effects of it. What happens whenever you dive down deep inside of you and you witness how your so-called outer reality changes and attunes, reattunes to reflect the work you have done inside. And yeah, I'm coming off a little whatever here, but... I always will reflect the collective. So whenever I'm feeling certain things, I know and I feel that there are there is a lot of fucking shit going on on in the collective. And truly, we all feel it. And rarely do many express it. Why? Because, oh, because then you sound like a fucking crazy person. And uh, uh, the whole fucking point of this fucking bullshit conscript is to convince yourself, to convince you, that you're crazy, to convince you that you're weak, to convince you that you're whatever, that you're not good enough. Or even to have you, have you, you're the fucking one doing it to yourself, people, to have you attract people to you that project your the reflection Of your own inner state, and then and then convince you even even further of the degradation and corruption, and then you fall, you fall deeper and deeper down, you numb yourself more and more. Or are we here to do something else? Are you, do you think that you're really just meant to, like, think about this? Are you just coming here to live, spend all your time at work? <laughs> yeah. Okay? The and then that, you see, as a child, you spend all your time, most of the majority of your life is in school. Okay? Then you come out, and then you go to work for the majority of your life. 
You only get a certain small percentage of time to enjoy it, which is they call vacation. Vacate. What are you vacating from? Vacation. I'm taking a vacation from my prison. <laughs> or a uh, or a trip. What are you tripping on, people? Are you tripping on the reality that you have been led into believing? You have been led into believing and convincing yourselves. This is the ultimate trick here, people. The indoctrination system tricks people into telling themselves a story over and over again and reinforcing this fucking narrative. The American dream. The fucking bullshit scripts. So that Nothing really needs to be done anymore because after a certain point, especially as you're brought up through a young age and you you get to a point where you are adept in adept in reflecting and projecting the bullshit. Then nothing else needs to be done because the slave has been created. Not only to keep themselves enslaved, but also to project the enslavement out into the collective. This is the indoctrination system. <laughs> so do you see like and, and it's not like this is the video that told you that you know you're a prisoner or anything like that. <laughs> this is just to let you know that with awareness you could be <laughs> you are in prison until you realize and just like I just said, like you realize the one creating the prison, and this ultimately is going to be the thing that undoes everything. Is is because they, uh, they, there's the they again. They taught people to do things onto themselves, but uh, now we're undoing things onto ourselves and onto others. We're unraveling and in untangling the entanglements. It's all undoing itself. And it's going to be a little slow going at first. And there's going to be little bursts of insights and, and whatnot for everyone. But... The image that has been accepted, adopted, created is an image of resurrection and an undoing in upon itself of the powers to distract and corrupt Those actions will undo themselves. They, they already are. If you're starting to wake up and starting to realize more and more things. Every, every uh, action that the establishment takes to call people in, to quiet people and, and they are trying to they right they are trying to uh, do so in a way that yeah but will hurt people into a certain mentality but as they are uh, realizing more and more every every action that that is taken is ultimately flipped in, in upon itself and so uh, this is just a call and a reminder to uh, the people in those places of influence recognize what the fuck is happening
what what side do you want to be on? What what role do you want to play? What part do you want to play in this? Yeah, I, I know the fucking situation, dude. But you still got your moments. You even if they're fucking few and far between, you still got your moments of solitude. So what do you feel in those moments? Where do you want to place your engagement? Where do you feel you want to place your engagements? Because it's all right there for you. It's all laid out for you. Aware of what it is that you do. Because a lot of the times people think that success stems from having a lot of money. And having a lot of money would require you going to work for that money or acquire or maybe if you're smart you could invest make investments and stuff like that. But you still gotta pay a lot of all your energetic attention to making sure that your businesses are, are, are succeeding, right? You can't just say oh, I'm gonna invest here and just not pay attention to it, right? But a lot, a lot of the things is that see that could be your definition of success. Somebody else's definition of his success could be living very, very humbly, but having all the time in the world to spend with their family, their friends, and maybe their property ain't worth that much, so they got a small bill. They don't have to work so hard. They can just enjoy their life. All right? Because the more you got, <laughs> the more chains and shackles you got to yourself. Oh, right? Beautiful. You see, you can enjoy the toys and riches, but at the end of the day, for who is it? Is it really fulfilling? Because a lot of the time, it's just basically ego where you're trying to show this off to other people. So it's like, you know, and, um, you know, this, this is where sometimes I feel like what is the definition of success to certain people may not be the definition of success to other people. Well, obviously. Another, <laughs> right. So everyone has their own perception. I mean, even to make a video, I get into an energy. You know, I get I get into an energy. Absolutely, my dude. But the main thing to think about is here: does the energy take over you, or do you utilize the energy to your advantage to utilize it for what you need to do here? That's beautiful and shit. What it is that you need to do here, okay, <laughs> that is, is to do a lot of clearing. Yes. See, a lot of people say, oh, I gotta clear, you know, clean my genes, clear the DNA, clear your life. But a lot of that has to do with you clearing your body of the toxicity yes. that happens in this everyday life. Okay? Lust, which is number one. The illusion of what abundance means to the planet here. Okay? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, one thing that I've been researching is basically I saw one Google post that in order for the climate change to be reversed, oh God, don't three into this. trillion or three billion trees. I don't remember if it was three billion or three trillion Doesn't trees. Doesn't matter. Trees, said, but three billion or three trillion trees need to be planted each year for the climate change to be reversed. Okay, this is interesting because uh, who? And this is the thing that we have uh, with with our fucking reality uh, in the current mentality is all the fucking half-truths and and, uh, all the full lies that are uh, presented to us as truths, which which is a great deal and a great many. So, yes, we do need to plant uh, gardens. We need to plant trees we need to plant orchards we need to plant seeds within our fucking minds as well uh this is where it's going to start this is where it is starting people and um the 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 main thing is how we tend our gardens how we plant our seeds um, with what kind of an intention and focus do you plant your seeds? This is the seeds of the mind. This is 
absolutely the seeds that you plant within the Earth Mother. Your mother. There is a very specific, specific method of planting seeds where you imbue your fucking DNA into it. You integrate all the fucking essences. You present it to the fucking sky. And then you place it in the ground. And this is going to have a specific effect on the things that that plant pulls from the ethers, pulls from the light and the sources of energies. And it's going to do this specifically for you. This is true health. This is the uh, true way to heal and re-enliven your body and re-enliven your spirit to connect back with the planting and the engagement with it but then he talked about climate change and that's a uh you're not you're not going to learn anything about uh what what that really means by listening to other people talk once they use the word climate change you need to tune the fuck out cuz that's bullshit don't take my word for anything realize this shit for yourself like i said i'm not here to tell you anything i'm here to remind you to fucking learn this shit for yourself Realize the causalities of why things are the way they are and where that originates from, where that stems from. Realize the roots. Realize how you are intimately connected with it. More so than maybe you will ever come to realize. Probably more so than you will ever come to realize. But... If you dedicate yourself to discipline and an inner standing of your inner landscape, then maybe you can start to see clearly and a little bit more clearer without. You can start to discern and decipher these things being shown to you, being told to you. You can learn how to deflect all the ignorance and arrogance and bullshit and accept, access the truth, the love within you, within all of us that is being covered up and made to seem like it doesn't fucking matter by the mainstream, or what the fuck ever, by most people nowadays. But is it, is it that the, the trees need to be planted, or do we need to stop cutting these motherfuckers down to begin with? Because a lot of the time, Both. it doesn't just stem from us planting trees, it starts from us changing a lifestyle of ours, for us to stop cutting these trees down. Exactly. And we blame the government, but at the end of the day, we're consented to it. Look, Trees are used for papers in school, for papers that you use every day to pay bills, whatever it may be, okay? Money, they use a specific kind of paper, mm. but it still stems from trees. But they use something called rag paper, I think it was called, all right? And it's pressurized with the ink and all the holograms and all that shit. And this goes into... uh why they do they the, the they why they do the things that they do and uh this also goes back into uh anytime um someone someone 
feels something for, say, a certain animal being eradicated or a certain even people being uh, enslaved essentially and and, uh, and or eradicated. We have to realize the upper echelons, the, the bigger game at play. And so these 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 manifestations that we're witnessing that we're caught within, that's not the main agenda. Like, and we're gonna be told, you know, that it's because of this, it's because of that. Um, don't fucking listen to that shit. Feel what it's really about, people. And those feelings are going to lead you into your understandings. And they're going to lead you into experiences in your life. In meeting people in your life. That are going to help you put the puzzle pieces together. To help you place the pieces that you need to truly have a clearer understanding and picture and image created. So that you can see more and more clearly. And it is a process. So yeah, we'll end it here. I don't want to get it too long. Um, as within, so without. This is this is what this fucking shit means, dude. Clear away the garbage within. And you will see it more and more clearly without. You will attract to you the resonance that you vibrate. So why not vibrate in a pure state? Doesn't that make a little, a little sense at least? And if not, if you're skeptical, put, put it to the test. The proof is in the pudding. You are the fucking pudding. Do do a fucking deep fast. Push yourself. And see what happens. Bear witness to what happens to your fucking so-called outer reality. And take fucking note of that. Because... You're going to revert back to your old ways, and this is this is what happens to almost everyone. This is a part of the indoctrination. Whenever you use your words and spellings and spells, you're going to re entrain yourselves. This is the script, conscript, and indoctrination that has been taught to you to do upon yourselves. So you have to keep going within, keep dissolving the layers, keep going within the stillness to where you can experience life without having these words happen all the fucking time. Because most people, they can't, they can't experience reality without having the mentality and the words wrapped around that. And that is what encapsulates and indoctrinates. To access the state of no. No thought. As in, you're just in the awareness, in the stillness. And you're just experiencing and being. And the more and more you can do this, the more and more seeing will actually be experienced and felt. Feeling comes first, and then the image comes. But the image has been corrupted through the corruption of the spellings and the ideology that we have been brought up into, p placing upon the imagery. So we are creating, we are creating a clear connection between feeling and image, and this is what the fuck it means with 
creating the bridge between heart and mind. Okay? You got it? Get to it. Feel it. Be it. Engage it. Meditate with it. Layers and layers. Levels and levels. Realize what is true and engage that. Realize what you really are. 